Hello, welcome to the Movie Zone. Today, we are recapping Season 1, Episode 5 of Game of Thrones. The tensions between the wolf and the lion reach a breaking point as the two houses begin their showdown. Be ready for spoilers. Let's begin. Ned Stark visits the dead body of Sir Hugh. The body is being dressed for burial by a religious order of women. Ned is still suspicious of Sir Hugh's sudden knighthood and learns he acquired enough gold to buy himself a new set of armor. He hears from Sir Barristan Selmy. King Robert himself is planning to enter the tournament, so he pays the king a visit. King Robert is seen being too thick, with three C's for his armor. He jokingly blames his squire for it and orders the Lannister boy to find the breastplate stretcher, a contraption that doesn't exist. Ned dissuades Robert from joining the tourney, pointing out no one would dare hurt the king. At the tournament, the menacing Sir Gregor, the Mountain Clegane, faces the Knight of the Flowers, Sir Loras Tyrell. Sir Loras gives Sansa a rose, while Littlefinger and Renly Baratheon wager on who they think will win, with Renly betting on Loras. The two charge at each other, and when they collide, the Mountain's horse stumbles and falls to the ground. Littlefinger points out Loras's horse was in heat, causing Sir Gregor to lose control of his stallion. The Mountain, now engulfed in anger, chops his own horse's head off and attacks Loras. The Hound then comes in to stop his brother's rampage. As their swords clash, Robert yells out an order to cease the fighting. Loras thanks the Hound for saving his life and proclaims him a hero. Catelyn Stark is taking her captive, not to Winterfell, but to her sister in the Eyrie. Tyrion tries to reason with them, stating, what sort of imbecile arms an assassin with his own blade? Before Catelyn can answer, a group of hill tribesmen ambushes them. Tyrion resists the opportunity to escape and helps in defending the party. He gets his first kill by whacking one enemy to death with his shield. Back in Winterfell, Maester Lewin is giving Bran a quiz on the major houses of Westeros. When the Maester mentions Catelyn, Bran becomes upset and asks why she had to leave her family. Lewin says his mother's love will last from his birth till the moment she dies. Lewin also tells him of the possibility to shoot a bow once again while riding on horseback, thanks to Tyrion's saddle. In King's Landing, Varys visits Ned in his chambers. He shuts the door and closes all the windows. The king is a fool, Varys says. Your friend, I know, but a fool, and doomed unless you save him. Varys tells Ned the previous hand was assassinated with the poison called the Tears of Lace. Ned asks for a reason why. Varys answers, he started asking questions. Arya chases the cat into the dungeons and finds a dragon skull. She tries to conceal herself as she hears voices incoming. Varys is conversing with Magister Illyrio of Pentos, a supporter of House Targaryen since Episode 1. Littlefinger and Varys later happen upon each other in the throne room. They assert dominance over each other by testing how much they know and who's one-upping who. Varys knows of Littlefinger's assistance to the Starks. Littlefinger, in turn, reveals he heard of Varys's cryptic conversation in the dungeons with a certain foreign dignitary. Their verbal joust is interrupted by Renly, who announces the king is attending a small council meeting. Quite a surprising feat. Ned arrives at the small council meeting after talking with Yorin, the Night's Watch recruiter, who tells him Catelyn Stark has taken Tyrion Lannister. Robert tells the Hand Daenerys Targaryen is pregnant. He wants them dead, mother and child both. Ned disagrees with him and says this would be a dishonorable move. Varys mentions this information came from Sir Jorah Mormont, whom Ned calls a traitor. Everyone in the council, Varys, Littlefinger, Pycelle, and Renly, Agree Daenerys must die for the good of the realm. However, Ned's not buying it. Speaking directly to the king, he says the man he grew up with didn't tremble at the shadow of an unborn child. Robert then orders Ned to do as he commands, but Ned has enough and resigns. He returns to his quarters and orders his men to help Arya and Sansa pack for Winterfell. Littlefinger comes in and offers to take him to the last person John Aaron saw before his death. Meanwhile, Catelyn's party has arrived at the Eyrie and seeks an audience with her sister, Lysa Arryn. A curious person and sight, Lysa breastfeeds her son well into adolescence. The widow doesn't want a Lannister in her household, 
and is convinced Tyrion was the one who killed her husband. She orders to lock him up in a sky cell, a room with thin air as its fourth wall. Tyrion huddles in a corner in fear of falling. Renly and Loras seem to be getting along quite well. The sight of blood terrifies Renly, but Loras tries to be a good friend and helps him conquer that fear. Loras thinks Lord Renly should seize the throne for himself, but the young Baratheon rejects the idea, pointing out he's fourth in line for the throne. Loras then tries to make him feel better. Cersei and Robert share a drink, a rare sight. They discuss the Targaryen threat. Surprisingly, Cersei shares the same opinion as Ned Stark. The Dothraki don't have ships, nor the discipline to cross the Narrow Sea. Robert agrees with this, but if they are able to cross and invade Westeros, he points out the knights, the noblemen, and the king would hide behind the walls. All while Dothraki burn down the villages until people decide the Targaryens are the rightful rulers after all. The topic changes to their loveless marriage and how Cersei sincerely loved Robert once. When asked if there was ever a chance it would have worked out, Robert answers, no. Ned and Littlefinger proceed to a brothel, where another one of Robert's bastard sons resides. They converse for a while and the two exit the brothel. Waiting outside is Jaime Lannister and a bunch of Lannister guardsmen. Ned takes the fall and credits himself for ordering Tyrion's arrest. Jamie commands to take Ned alive and kill all of his men. Jory Castle faces off with the Kingslayer, but is stabbed in the eye. Then, one of the Lannister guardsmen stabs Ned's leg, disabling him and ending the fight. Jamie is furious at the interruption and punches the guard with the hilt of his sword. He mounts his horse and departs, leaving Ned Stark dying on the ground. What do you think about this show? Tell us in the comments below. Check out other episodes on our channel and be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.